Guys in the still waters of Port Providence, Pennsylvania. He is a creative soul who cre lives a creative life. He published six books of poetry and prose in 2017 that contain almost all of his poetry and prose written from 1987 to the present. His current writing project is an epic poetic novel. Think Led Zeppelin meets the Inferno. Monty. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna actually I have a website. It's uh, TiltedPoet.com. If anybody's interested in checking out some of my stuff later, um, I'm just gonna read a couple of my random poems tonight. Uh, this is a poem about rebirth. <clears throat> it's called Footprints of My Soul. <laughs> I've got to start again. The hunt for my soul left somewhere in the singing colors, forests of my mind. It is springtime again. Gray sparrows, red robins carry thoughts dream clouds decorate the powdery blue sky. The slurping brook, green moss banks where doom once lay. Glorious springtime, track footprints of my soul through go golden wisps of meadowed hills to that same damning fork in the path. See footprints of my soul trekking down cold winter nights. A frozen life, bleak icicles on dark barren oak trees. The beating heart of the yellow sun of my mind shines warmth a season to grow, leading the feet of my soul freshly down unexperienced silver trails. With conception and ascension, I orchestrate the reformation, reborn embryo of my soul. This is called idea. Interior imagery corralled in flesh and skull, elaborately magnificent, whether horror or beauty. Infant voyager as it slithers out through hands, eyes, voice, reaction transforming through spectacular stages, radiating to a diverse completion. This is called Yummy in the Tummy. <laughs> After trapping their game with keen wit, they tied their kill to the wooden spit. Round and round it turned to bake, mouths watered at the fleshy cake. The men were eager to take a bite. Well, women and children dressed in white cooled the roast with a thatched fan then carved out pieces of the well-done man. <laughs> uh, this is a poem called Great White. Dark, unblinking eyes with a subtle hint of mania guide the great white killer. He swims alone, undetected, without remorse or regret in his gaping smile. The ocean metropolis crawls with noisy street vendors, pedestrians, and large, powerful automobiles. A school of young float by, the elementary students follow their teacher's signal and shy away from his path. His only natural enemy bobs in a vacant alley, waiting for a nibble. The rumpled black coat and soiled blue dungarees hide the badge and gun. He is careful not to take the bait and get hooked and gaffed into handcuffs. The smell of prey fills his nostrils as he drifts further downstream. The country-scented mermaid is exposed like a wound, a confused tourist caught in a bustling undertow of people. For the third time this week, he circles his victim, patiently waiting for the feeding frenzy to begin. This one is uh, called Help. <clears throat> a comms razor cut better than gravity's saw. The problem was a small one. A tiny pink karma was engulfed by a mammoth purple specter. Gravity tied, tried to sli slice the specter into little itty bitty pieces. A calm simply pushed straight in and carved the little karma out. It's what I kind of call philosophical poetry. <laughs> um, and then I've got just one more little page here of a couple uh, little quick poems that I did. <clears throat> you are the love bird that sings in my soul. The one true masterpiece I sought to paint. A living poem I could not capture with words. This is uh, reminds me of our Boston Terrier. I didn't write her about her, but we like our little puppy. Um, happy, lappy puppy, enter my home. So curious by day and faithful at night, I have earned the right to walk by your side. <laughs> uh, the pen, the bah, bleh, try that again. <laughs> the book and pen feels good in my lap, especially confined, confined in a cell with my thoughts. To correspond with my feelings is a wonderful thing. To write crap is as bad as stepping in it. 
<laughs> and then I, I will leave you with this last one. Uh, maybe I should end it on that one. <laughs> uh, um, a milestone of hard work at the end of each passing day paves the smooth highway to the rest of your life. Thank you.